Uh, this is the, when we have a, a malignant biliary obstruction, this is the question that uh, uh, we have, is uh, the preoperative stenting needed for, for this patient, but uh, I stress you that only 10 or 15 percent of the patient with cholangiocarcinoma are uh, operable. For the non-operable uh, ILAR cholangiocarcinoma or class skin tumor, uh, uni or bilateral drainage, this is always the, the question. And uh, what solution when RCP fail, uh, PTC or EUS, uh, guided via redrainage, and you speak about this, uh, uh, this, uh, this morning. And uh, uh, one, one of the, be the burning uh, questions today is what is the place of a local ablative therapy? Uh, first of all, uh, just to remember the classification of the uh, cholangiocarcinoma, and you see that the only this uh, type 1, 2, 3A, and 3B can be treated uh, uh, endoscopically for, for the drainage. The type 4 is mainly an indication for a PTC. But before to, uh, to treat this patient, we, we need an MRCP uh, to, know, uh, the, uh, to know the anatomy of uh, the, the biliary uh, tree and the number of, uh, of stenosis to classify uh, this, uh, uh, the cholangiocarcinoma. The first question is preoperative stenting needed. Uh, it seems in the literature that uh, you have many papers. Uh, then the, the conclusion is uh, for uh, um, many of uh, the study that there is uh, uh, no place uh, to, uh, for a preoperative uh, uh, drainage. It seems that the preoperative drainage increases uh, the postoperative morbidity and mortality. Um, this is the, the paper, but a recent paper uh, showed that uh, um, if the patient uh, should have a uh, a right uh, hepatectomy, and this is the, the, the this, uh, this last, pa last paper, it's uh, uh, important to drain uh, before the, the, the patient to uh, reduce uh, the risk of postoperative liver failure. And uh, uh, is the contrary, of course, uh, if the patient should have a left hepatectomy, there's no need uh, to have a preoperative uh, drainage. In conclusion, not only the patient with uh, uh, extensive uh, hepatectomy, right hepatectomy, should be uh, drained before the surgery. Uh, this is the same, sorry. And what is the best technique for the drainage, uh, or the preoperative drainage of cholangiocarcinoma? And uh, the literature is not clear. Uh, for the Japanese, it seems that the best uh, technique is uh, to uh, to insert, uh, 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 um, modify a six French nasobiliary drainage uh, in the liver, uh, which uh, will stay in place. But uh, this is uh, very difficult for, uh, uh, for patients in Europe and probably here also to, uh, to, start to live the, uh, with many uh, weeks with, the, uh, with this uh, drain, uh, this uh, nasobiliary drain. Um, and uh, a recent paper, a recent paper uh, has uh, evaluated uh, uh, the, uh, they have compared uh, the uh, PTC versus uh, the endoscopic biliary drainage. And uh, uh, it seems that the, 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 uh, the incidence of total complication after EBD, after the endoscopic drainage, seems higher than uh, the PTBD. But the recent paper uh, using the PTBD showed that the PTBD increased the risk of peritoneal carcinomatosis. It's not very clear today, but it seems that the, the, uh, the endoscopic uh, drainage seems uh, uh, less uh, risky uh, at the point of view of uh, peritoneal carcinomatosis than uh, the PTBD. But when the cholangiocarcinoma is not operable, what is the best, uh, uh, the best uh, uh, stand to use? Uh, today there is no uh, debate, uh, and uh, this is one of uh, the, the studies that they show that uh, the metallic stent is uh, better than the plastic stent, and the, plastic, the metallic stent induces successful drainage uh, significantly higher, but also they increase the median survival time. And this is very important that because this tumor, um, the growing of this tumor is quite low, and the, the uh, best uh, biliary drainage uh, increase uh, the survival rate of this patient. The burning question is always uni or bilateral drainage, 
And now uh, uh, several studies uh, show that uh, the bilateral stent insertion is uh, uh, associated with uh, an increased health survival rate. And uh, uh, this because this uh, bilateral stent insertion induces a better uh, biliary drainage than uh, the unilateral uh, drainage. And here you see the different paper published uh, in the literature. And uh, this is the, um, um, also uh, the uh, retrospective analysis uh, uh, of a uh, 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 high number of patients. And uh, they, they show that the, um, the patient with a bilateral drainage has a better, uh, clinic, uh, has a better uh, clinical success than those with uh, unilateral uh, drainage. And also uh, the, the plastic, the metallic stent, stent uh, has a, a quite uh, four times more likely to have a clinical success than those the treat, drain, drain by plastic stent. So definitively, metallic stent, bilateral metallic stent is the best, uh, the best choice. And this is a paper from my, my unit. We, we have evaluated patients with uh, a malignant uh, uh, ILAR uh, stenosis, not only cholangiocarcinoma, but also stenosis by some uh, metastasis. And the conclusion was that we need to drain almost 80% of the liver. And when you drain 80% of the liver, we increase the survival rate of the patient by two, uh, by two uh, facts. The first is that the patient uh, has a, a, a quite a, a better uh, uh, liver uh, test, but also the, mainly the patient can, uh, can continue uh, um, an anti uh, uh, continue chemotherapy or radio chemotherapy, which is also increase uh, the survival rate of the of the patient. Alors, this is a, a patient with a type one. Here you see the the, the biopsy and the, the insertion of one metallic stent, which is uh, enough for the type one. For the type two, uh, uh, this is the the type two. Uh, this is a type three with three stent uh, inserted. Uh, in the uh, um, left, right, and in the posterior, uh, uh, I'm sorry, this doesn't work. This is a preoperative drainage with uh, plastic stent, you see, and the, 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 um, the technique is always the same, insertion of the two, the two wire, and after dilation with a balloon, I'm sorry, here, with balloon, and this is mainly six millimeter balloon, and after the insertion of two, uh, uh, 10 French uh, uh, 12 centimeter uh, stent. And this is the insertion of three stents. It was the same, the same, te the same technique. Here you see the, we, and we start by the insertion of the left lobe uh, and uh, after the right and the, the posterior was the, 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 uh, the, the, the easier is uh, uh, insert, the, the last stent was uh, inserted. We can use a special uh, stent. This is the very uh, small stent, six French catheter. Uh, this is from, uh, from Cook Company. You can insert the two, uh, the two catheter, you see, uh, side by side here, in the right and in the left. And you can open the two stent uh, uh, slowly. We, we, you need, of course, two nurses. <laughs> they, they open the, the stent in the, in the same time, but you should you should put the lower part at the same level, huh? like this here. But now we have a longer stent, 12 and 10 centimeters, and it's uh, easier to, uh, uh, to use this, uh, uh, this uh, stent. This uh, stent, uh, are the stent in stent technique is uh, very popular in Asia. We, we use a first stent with a large mesh, and we pass the second stent through the mesh uh, and to, uh, to open and to drain the control lateral uh, side. But uh, uh, one of the problem of this stent is the, when the stent are uh, occluded is more difficult uh, than uh, to, uh, uh, to uh, redrain the, the patient uh, than the patient with a stent uh, side by side. And this is the, the two studies that they, they compare the, the stent in stent technique or the side by side technique they show no difference uh, in terms of, uh, of efficacy of success and uh, stent uh, patency occlusion rate. But uh, uh, this uh, study uh, showed that uh, the patient with the stent in stent 
when the, the, the stent are occluded, you see the, in 10 of the 14 patients, they need a percutaneous drainage uh, to, uh, to uh, uh, redrain the, the, the patient, which is uh, uh, less if you use the stent-by-stent -stent, uh, technique. When the RCP fails, you know that in the US, uh, you have the, the PTC is one uh, of the technique, uh, like this, and you see with the insertion of, uh, uh, of uh, um, uh, a biliary drain and after the, the, the stenting. And also the, uh, the EUS is, uh, uh, is an indication to, uh, to drain like this, the left lobe, endoscopically the right lobe was drained and the, the left lobe is drained using the EUS route. Now the last part of my talk is the, the local ablative therapy. You know that uh, photodynamic therapy was uh, an adjunct to biliary stenting, and we, we have in the literature of three uh, papers that show that the, if you use the uh, photodynamic therapy plus the stenting, you increase uh, the survival rate of the patient, and here you see there is a three uh, positive study. And this is the, the, the survival curve, the Kaplan-Meier survival curve of this, uh, this uh, study, the, the study of Ortner, uh, from uh, Switzerland and the study of Aaron from UK, and uh, they show that the, the patient uh, treated by, uh, uh, by PTD, uh, B, P, PDT, uh, increased the, the survival rate of a patient with cholangiocarcinoma. Now, uh, you know that uh, PDT is not easy uh, to use, it's uh, very expensive. We, we have the possibility to, to use radiofrequency ablation, and this is the, the first study uh, published in the literature. They were, they, they, it was the, uh, the, uh, the phase one, and they showed that it was possible to, uh, to perform with no complication uh, the radiofrequency ablation in the biliary duct. But radiofrequency ablation is not only the effect of the heat uh, on the tumor, they induce also an immunomodulation by, by secretion of uh, cytokine and, and killer lymphocyte which induce a late uh, anti-tumoral response on the lesion. This is the material that we use. Is, uh, this is the material from uh, Tai Wong, uh, but you have also other uh, companies who develop this kind of catheter. And this is the, uh, the four electrodes, and you can treat, uh, uh, this is 18 millimeter lens uh, catheter. Uh, is a six French catheter, seven French catheter. And we treat during two minutes at 75, uh, 75 degrees uh, the lesion. And you see two minutes, 75 lesion, uh, degrees, you induce uh, uh, a tumoral effect around uh, seven millimeter around the, uh, the, uh, the wall of the bile duct. And this is the, one of the first papers published by um, uh, Nagi Reddy from India. Uh, he performed the uh, uh, cholangioscopy before and after RFA, and you see the effect is quite uh, uh, immediate. Uh, and the, the, the question today is to, uh, to know if we, we need always to, uh, to put metallic stent after the, uh, the radiofrequency ablation or to, uh, to leave the patient without any, uh, any stent. Uh, uh, this is the, the question that we, uh, uh, we have. And this is the, the, the technique, and the technique is to insert uh, the Y, the two wire in the right and in the, left, uh, in the left lobe, like this. And after to proceed with a dilation, the insertion of the, of the probe, here you see the, the probe here, sorry, in the, in the right and here in the left. And uh, after we uh, finish the procedure by the insertion of two metallic stents, this is the protocol that we have in your, uh, uh, in your unit. In the literature, uh, we have a randomized study. They have compared the radiofrequency ablation with the, uh, uh, with the PDT, and this, is the, the, this paper was published now uh, for five years ago, and they show there is no difference in terms of survival rate uh, of the patient with the PDT versus the radiofrequency ablation, but the radiofrequency ablation is easier and quicker uh, to perform than uh, the uh, photodynamic therapy. And this is the, the last uh, paper. It was a randomized uh, paper that they, they, they use uh, for bismuth uh, uh, three and four 
the RFA, uh, uh, they compare the RFA plus stenting versus stenting alone, uh, and you see that the uh, the, um, the mean stent patency period was uh, increased uh, in the RFA uh, plus stent group, but and also uh, the mean uh, survival rate, uh, and there is no uh, differ no significant dif difference in the incidence of post-operative adverse event. And today, uh, in your uh, uh, hospital, the radiofrequency ablation is one of the uh, part of the, uh, the endoscopic treatment of uh, the uh, cholangiocarcinoma. Uh, to conclude, uh, uh, complete drainage is uh, recommended mainly by two metallic stents. Uh, this increases the survival time of the patient with uh, cholangiocarcinoma. Preoperative drainage is mainly not needed, but only should be considered if the surgery plane is a right hepatectomy and radiofrequency ablation increase the survival rate of patient and the patency time of the stent. Thank you very much for your attention.